being in the sand dunes, that was really unique. That brought me back to some of my early experiences in archaeology in East Africa. And here in southern Alberta, those dunes, that landscape, were reminded me of that. Oh! Whoa! Oh! I think I, uh... Wow! <laughs> right by That's this great. little plant. Yeah. Are we going to take a waypoint? Sure, I'll get the GPS again. That's great. So that's that's probably um, maybe the last few hundred years, maybe a thousand years old. Okay. Yeah. This is an arrowhead, so it's from a more recent time period, and we have the side notches on it where yeah. it would have been hafted onto the arrow shaft, and we would call this um, a plain side notched oh, okay. projectile point. Right, and so that would be, the style would be very typical of the last thousand years? Yes, oh, exactly. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Oh, what is this? Oh, hey, wow. Ah, that might connect with our projectile <laughs> point. Yeah, here's the brush. It looks like a vertebrae, a backbone from the bison. That's pretty big. Yeah, it's huge and it looks fairly complete as well. Yeah. So it's. There might be a little bit of gnawing along the edge, maybe a... Some gnawing? Yeah, maybe a coyote or a wolf chewed on the bone mm. after it was left behind, after it was butchered. Wow. So there's a lot of different um, factors, environmental factors, that will um, damage and change the bones over time after they're left behind by people. So okay. we always have to be looking for that as well. Yeah, that's oh, a fairly that. complete cervical vertebrae. Right. So the cervical, that would be closer to the, yes. to the head. Yeah, right? exactly. The finds that we discovered there were really fascinating. We found a variety of materials. We got some fauna, particularly the rib and the vertebrae of the buffalo. But finding that projectile point, that was the highlight. 